Good Thursday morning. I'd like to talk to you today about something that happens in the upper room at the Passover with Jesus. Listen to what he says. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread, and after blessing, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body. And when he had taken a cup, he'd given thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. And after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Well, I'd like to suggest to you today that that's a well-worn text. If you've been in church very long, you've heard that text, particularly when it comes to taking communion. I would like to encourage you, that even though we can't meet right now together corporately as the redeemed community of Christ in a church building, here's what you can do. You can meet with Jesus alone wherever you are, all day, all the time. And I would like to encourage you to break bread and take the cup either by yourself or with your family. I want you to know there's great power in doing this. There's healing in doing this. Uh, Pastor Sharon and I love to do this together often. In fact, mostly we do it almost every day. There's some power and anointing that takes place when you take the cup and you take the bread, and you read the text. Maybe not this text, but another text. But it's drinking and eating unto Christ, power into your life. Right now, you need power. You need faith. You need strength. So today I'm going to encourage you, find the cup, find the bread, and break bread and drink the cup in communion with Christ and expect great things to happen. Expect your eyes to be opened and your ears to be open to hear and see things in the kingdom of God that Christ wants to show you today. In fact, I'm going to ask that there would be revelation in the breaking of the bread and in um, uh, oh, the opening of the scriptures and the drinking of the cup. So today, enjoy the Lord's Supper either by yourself or with someone you love.